We got a Fox News alert now. The Israeli cabinet approving a limited four day ceasefire with Hamas. It will take effect sometime in the next 24 hours. So, this is what we know under the deal 150 Palestinian prisoners will be handed over in exchange for 50 hostages taken by the terrorist group. That includes a three year old American girl whose parents were killed on October 7th. Jeff Paul joins us live from Tel Aviv. Jeff, good morning. Yeah, it took the Israeli government more than six hours debating into the early morning here in Tel Aviv. But this agreement between Israel and Hamas might not only offer a pause in the fighting, but it could give a sliver of hope to all the families of the hostages that were taken back on October 7th. Now, under this U.S. Qatari Egyptian broker deal, Israel will receive 50 hostages, women and children, in exchange. Israel will then release 150 Palestinian prisoners. Now, the hostages, as we understand it, will be freed in groups of 10 to 12 people over a span of four to five days. During that time, there will be pauses in the fighting. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who's been under increasing pressure from the families of the hostages, says while it was a tough decision, it was the right decision. But he also added their campaign to crack Hamas continues. We are at war, and we will continue this war until we achieve all our goals, to eliminate Hamas, to bring back all of our hostages and missing people, and to ensure that in Gaza there will be no factor that threatens Israel. Hamas released a statement regarding the agreement, saying in part, we affirm that our fingers remain on the trigger and our victorious fighters will remain on the lookout to defend our people and defeat the occupation. Now, we could see the first batch of hostages released from Gaza is starting, is starting as soon as Thursday. In previous releases, those hostages have been sent to the Rafah crossing. They then cross into Egypt, and from there, they are choppered back to Israel. They go to the hospital, they get checked out, and then eventually they're debriefed by the Israeli security forces here to kind of figure out what they experienced and what they saw. Back to you guys. Hey, Jeff, I was just wondering, you, you hear the reports they're going to be in groups of 12 to 13. Uh, most people agree that they're going to include a three-year-old girl, American girl, whose parents of Ellison killed last month. Uh, her name is Abigail, and I'm wondering, have you heard the same thing? Yeah, that is, we've heard as many as three Americans could be included in that grouping. Uh, we don't know when exactly they're going to be coming out, but uh, one thing I will caution against is that, you know, each day there's going to be 10 to 12 of these people being released. You hope that there are these pauses in war and that both sides agree, you know, stick to their agreement because you got to think if you're, you're one of the family members and they're in the third or fourth day of these releases, you're just praying that nothing goes wrong. Women and children first. Yeah. All right, and thanks. thanks, thanks, Jeff. Jeff. We'll leave 200 though. That's exactly still being right. Yeah, this is this is a deal that will only release one fifth of the hostages.